U.S. Senators passed bipartisan legislation designed to combat the opioid crisis. The proposal includes dozens of measures aimed at treating and preventing addiction. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Smith is keeping you connected to the nation's capital. Republican and Democratic senators say the Opioid Crisis Response Act of 2018 is a big step toward curbing the opioid crisis. Well, there's a bipartisan sense of urgency. Senator Lamar Alexander sponsored the legislation, which includes a push for research to develop a non-addictive painkiller. It also gives the FDA authority to require certain packaging for opioids. Blister packs, like a Z pack for antibiotics. So you can only get it in packages of three or seven. The bipartisan package is made up of provisions from more than 70 lawmakers. Senator Tammy Baldwin worked to give local officials more flexibility in how they use federal funding to fight addiction. If we tie uh, the hands of local officials to only providing narcotic treatment, we aren't doing the comprehensive job that we need to. Baldwin's provision also address diseases that often stem from illegal drug use like HIV or Hep C. Another measure gives the FDA more authority to help Customs and Border Protection stop drugs from entering the country. To assist in um, detecting uh, illegal fentanyl. The House and Senate will need to agree on a final version of the bill. Senator Alexander says they've already been working together. To take as many of their good ideas as we can and vice versa, so we'll have the minimum amount of differences between the Senate and the House. That was Jessica Smith reporting. Lawmakers would like to send a bill to President